Born in Paris in 1957, he received his bachelor's degree in business from Middle East Technical University and his master's in economics from Manchester University. While he was working on his doctorate in the United States, his father died and he returned to Turkey. In 1983, he and his friends founded Iletişim Publishing in order to support the return to democracy and civilian rule after the September 12th coup through popular publishing. The Marmara earthquake was a turning point in his life. He supported civic networks created in the region in the wake of the earthquake. In the period that followed, he played an important role in the civil society activities that were newly developing in the country, taking part in the creation of several civil society organizations and their work. In 2002, together with people from the business circles and civil society, he founded Anadolu Kultur in an effort to spread and scale up culture and arts events and to advocate cultural diversity and rights. He participated in projects to support local initiatives and ran projects to strengthen ties between organizations working locally and the cultural arts operators as well as civil society organizations in Europe. In the 1990s to help bind the wounds left by the fighting in Turkey's eastern and southeastern provinces and build a culture of dialogue and peace through arts, he played a pioneering role in Anadolu Kultur's first project the establishment of the Diyarbakir Art Center. The Kars Art Center, also with Anatolu Kultur's support, became a cultural meeting space not only for Turkey, but for Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan as well. During negotiations for Turkey's membership in the European Union, he concentrated on projects to establish ties between European and Anatolian cities, supporting artistic work by Anatolian youth and long-term working relationships between leading figures in the world of culture. Depot, founded in a former Ottoman tobacco depot in 2008, is an independent art space that hosts the work of many artists with an emphasis on pluralism. After the 2011 Vaughan earthquake, he held photography workshops. He also created projects and published books for Yazidi and Syrian refugee children living under harsh conditions. He has brought together hundreds of artists as well as their works of art in an effort to contribute to the opening of the sealed border between Turkey and Armenia, which have had no diplomatic relationship since 1993. He has taken part in projects to protect, document and restore the cultural heritage of Anatolia. He has devoted his life to the building of a pluralistic, democratic society. He has advocated dialogue and multiculturalism. He has shown that civil society initiatives through culture and arts can strengthen relationships between peoples. Even from his cell at the Istanbul Silivri High Security Prison, where he has been imprisoned since November 1, 2017, he has remained productive and continues to bring people together in his absence. And because of all, that's Osman Kavala.